Hi, this is Scott. And this is Josh from Lead Dev. Um, today we're going to be talking about tree data structure. But not that tree, this tree, a binary tree data structure. This is the weirdest array that I've ever seen. <laughs> well, that's one way to look at it. And we're going to show you how to find the depth of this binary tree. Josh, you want to tell them what a quick rough description right, of a like binary tree? A tree is. But yes, so a binary tree is mostly a data structure um, that, can, that we call a tree node, as you might actually see on our top right corner. And a tree node has three elements. It has a value, which stores a integer string. In this case, it's an integer. And it has a left child and a right child, which are a also a tree node. So basically, a tree node can link to other tree nodes, forming the tree that you see in the example problem in the lead codes. So on the Blackboard, we are we have the tree that we saw in the example problem. We have a tree node, a parent tree node three, with the child nodes nine, twenty, and then fifteen and seven. As you can see, this tree node has a height of three because 3, 20, and 7, or 15 really, gives us a, a total height of 3. Now, to figure out how to do this problem, this is actually very similar to uh, what we actually learned in college about finding a height of a tree node. We would traverse the parent node, 3, and go to the child nodes, left uh, 9 and 20, and we would just keep going until we hit a null node, and a null node would have a basically a height of zero. And then we would return that back up to, or actually I'll just draw it out. So I can assist you. Yeah. Just, you can keep talking. Right. Thank you. Yeah, so we have a null node of the, we have a left no, a empty left child for nine and an empty right child. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Empty right child of nine. And so both of these will return a height of zero. And then nine, would take the max height of both uh, its left and right child, which in this case is both zero, so it doesn't really matter. And then it would return that the maximum height plus itself. So in this instance, that would be one, or that'd be zero plus one, which is one. And that would return one back to three, which then would do the exact same thing with its right child, which then would calculate the uh, its left and its right child. And so we would actually do the exact same thing. 20 would also will take in its left child, which has a height of one, and its right child, which has a, also a height of one. And it would, it would exactly be the same. So it would just be one plus itself, one, and that would return two. And then it would propagate two back up to its parent, three. And then three will now compare its left child, which has a height of one, and its right child, which has a height of two. And then it would take two because two is the greatest value. And it would add one to it and it would return three, which would give us the height. So I briefly touched upon this when we were showing an example of this problem, but I mentioned base case and recursive case, or I just mentioned base case. But for a generally for a binary tree problem, well, you would create a helper function to traverse the tree, and then to traverse the tree, you usually have a base condition, which is when you want to when you found your a condition you find a condition that you want to stop traversing a tree in and you return a value in this case our base case is when our tree node is null and let me move a little bit to the side um let me try this how do i move so you uh, you yeah. want to so you want to click you want to click the oh, you know check why? mark I, next I to the pen it's because of the keyboard oh <laughs> because okay. that's stupid all right there you go okay i got it a little bit more. All right, so we have our base case, which is when our node is null. We know that because we want because that's when we know our height of a tree is zero. Oh. And then we have our recursive case, which is when we are still traversing through the tree because we haven't found our base case yet. So in this instance, we would go through our left child and then our right child to find the height. And then once we have the height, we would calculate the maximum height and return that back up to our parent node. Right, so compare left.
Cool. So actually, that actually brings up to a good point um, where we uh, talk about uh, how we are traversing through this node. Want to talk a bit about it? Yes, sure. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's uh, clean up the, the white, the blackboard in this case a little bit. Let's... Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, so like Josh mentioned earlier in the video, um, so what we learned in college, uh, we're going to use this sailing boat technique. So to demonstrate it, let me kind of draw in this stick so, in here. Yeah. So specifically, there are actually three ways, well, there's probably a lot of ways, but there are three main ways of traversing through a binary tree. And they are a pre-order, in-order, and post-order traversal. Uh, we'll probably talk, we'll talk more about this in a later video. But in this instance, we are actually doing a post-order traversal. Right, exactly. So what he meant, uh, yes. So post-order um, exactly is we're going to start at the root node in this case, which is three. And we're going we're gonna to imagine like a sailing boat, right, starting on here. So when it hit the left-hand side of uh, the left-hand stick, so we not finished doing the post-order yet. We finish it if and only if we're hitting the right side of the stick. So in this case, we have the result nine. Um, Josh, can you help me write yeah, nine in you. the... Uh, God, let's see. All right, yeah. So can I actually write your type? Oh, yes, I can. Yeah, you Maybe. click edit. Yeah. So, yeah, so we, we accounted the right side of the, the train node. So now we have nine. nine. And, and then we just continue. You go to three, not yet. We haven't hit the right-hand side yet. 15, so now hit, yep. Can you write 15 in? Yep, I got it. And then 20, 20, not yet. And then we hit seven. We just hit it. So I put seven in. Yep, I got and it. And then we hit 20. And then finally we hit three. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, just for reference, the left stick is for pre order. So whenever our little sailing boat hits the left stick, we would add that to our list. And then the middle stick pointing downward is, our, is for in order traversal. So whenever our selling boat hits that, that would, we would add that to our list. Yeah, perfect. Let's move on to the coding section. And now we're on to the problem. Perfect. So I'm yeah. gonna go and Scotty will comment. Yeah, well, before we get started, uh, you can pause this video and read the prompt to yourself, but we already went over in the whiteboard. So we assume that we are all, we all on the same page. Um, so yeah, let's yes, write some sir. code. All right, so in this case, we're just defining the base case. Checking if the root is good and all. That is true. We're just going to go ahead and return zero back. And this is where we do our recursive case. Um, first, we need to check our left subtree by calling the helper function and pass in the root.left. And we are repeating the process for the right subtree. And lastly, we're just gonna compare the left and right subtree and pick the greatest one and add one, which representing ourself. And I think this is it, Josh. Yeah, I actually think so too. Um, I think overall the concept might be kind of hard to pick up, but in terms of code, it's actually not that bad. So moment of truth. Let's just be bad programmers and just hit that run code button. Yes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nice. When will we ever learn? Probably when we have harder problems. All right, be ready for the submit. Yep, submit it. All righty, yo. Would you know, hundred percent. Woot woot. Yeah, and that's about it for our first binary tree problem, finding the max depth of a binary tree. Uh, if you have any comments or you want to see any other types of videos, please leave them down below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to our video to help us grow. Anything else you want to say, Scott? Nope. This is Scott. And this is Josh. Signing off from Leap Dad. Bye.